What it do, what it do, what it do. This your dude, Scott Boy, over here at SMG TV BR, you heard me? With the new podcast, Facts Not Fiction. And you know, I got I got very, very, very special guests in the house tonight, you know what I'm saying? And guess what? We're going to be doing this all the time, you heard me? And guess what? This is a real legend in the Baton Rouge area, you know, Baton Rouge and surrounding areas to be exact, you know, the main man, Jewel the Juice Man Jackson. He's a legendary radio host in the Baton Rouge area from 941. He's actually birthed 941. He come from WXOK, got a whole lot of history for Baton Rouge and for your ears and for your eyes to see. Man, what a warm welcome. Man, I appreciate it, Scott Boy. Man, it's, it's been a long good, man. time, man. Very long time, yeah. man. I've been really trying to get this dude over here for the <laughs> longest, man, yeah. for a few yeah. years now, huh? Yeah. 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 How you been, man? Man, I'm good, man. Walking, walking life flying low. Man, thanks for coming, man. I for appreciate real, it, though. man. I appreciate it. For real. Yes, sir. I know, I know you got a lot of information about, you know, hip hop from the 90s in, well, the late 80s in Baton Rouge and a lot of artists that came through you to get their music broke, to get their music heard, you know, some people that we actually know of to this date, you know what I'm saying, yeah. worldwide. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, um, how you started in radio and when did you start in radio? Well, yeah, man, uh, I graduated from high school, mm -hmm. 88. Mm -hmm. uh, what school that was? Glen Oaks. Glen Oaks. Yeah. Glen Oaks in the house. Yeah. I but I'm, but, but I'm, actually, I'm actually from 17th Street. Okay. okay. Yeah, you know, okay. uptown. Okay. So uh, yeah. that's down in the uh, South Baton Rouge area. You were at the top. Okay. Uh, I started there and moved to Glen Oaks when I was about 12 years old. So right through that journey, man, I ended up, you know, going to Glen Oaks and graduating and and i always been a, a music fanatic everybody that ever knew me okay knew that rapping and and, and music was my thing so okay i uh I, t I took an interest in that went to a little radio school here got me a degree mm -hmm. and uh my first job was uh at a radio station wibr over in uh port allen louisiana it was a sports talk radio station okay and uh it, and, and and the only thing i did was ran the board i was a board operator is what it was called but right. you know i used to always sit up in there whenever when nobody was in there mm -hmm. and kind of uh put put practice in trying to uh do my voice uh -huh. so uh 88 89 i ended up getting hired on at uh the local radio station wxok mm -hmm. uh and they played, uh, you know, R and B, blues, and at night they played hip hop. Okay. From eight to twelve, and that's where uh, that's that's where I began to flourish. Okay, so that's when you you actually uh, started playing hip hop on WXOK. No, actually, when I started on WXOK, man, okay. believe it or not, I did gospel. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Uh, I used to do gospel on Sunday night, so I was doing the weekend thing. Mm -hmm. Had a young cat, uh, Ernest Knight Prince Smith. He was actually the uh, hip hop DJ at the time, okay. and before him was a guy by the name of Ken James. Okay, uh, we called him Ice Man. So I remember uh, Ice Man. You remember Ice Man? Mm -hmm. So Ice Man uh, kind of uh, opened up Baton Rouge to a genre that was very exciting to people, and, and they wanted to get involved with it. He had a segment on his uh, radio show. Uh, called the Booty Line. Booty Line. Yeah, where the community called in. Right. And. Uh, He'll put a beat on, mm -hmm. and they'll rap to the beat over the phone. Okay. And they'll show their talent right then. You know? Right on. So a whole lot of guys, man, that that, that came out mm -hmm. uh, back in that era uh, were guys that came from that, that, that radio scene like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some real pioneers and some are coming out, showing their talent over the phone. Yeah. Yeah. On the radio. That live. Ended, yeah. That ended up coming be, becoming, you know, a uh, record uh Regular company artist. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Really became yeah. somebody. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right out of Baton Rouge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Man, so there was a whole lot of talent here, man. When I was when I was coming through, man, you had uh, B. Lo, mm -hmm. uh, Terry Cotton, uh, 
You had uh, Scientific Love, uh, his brother. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, those guys were coming out then. Uh, the first guy that I think that actually got a, a major deal out of Baton Rouge was a guy out of St. Pius. Okay. Uh, Kuiper. Kuiper. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. He yeah. had some type of techno song or something like Tic -tac -toe, that. Tic-tac-toe, baby. Tic-tac-toe. Yeah, yeah. And and, and we, we know he had made it when... Shout out to Kuiper. Yeah, big shout out to Kuiper. Mm -hmm. uh, he uh, actually... When we knew he made it when his song made it to an urban radio stadium because it was really a crossover record. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And that was what year? Uh, that was 89, 88, 89. Okay, yeah. 89. Okay, mm -hmm. man, that was back in the day. A lot of y'all yeah. wasn't even born then. <laughs> wasn't even thought about. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about wasn't even thought about your mom and yeah, was children. Yeah, like 30, 34 years ago. Wow. Yeah, 34, that's a, 35 years ago. Yeah, yeah. your mom and was children yeah. then. Yeah. Dad and there was kids, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, man, say Juice, you done laid in and, and, and ran across a lot of people in this city doing <clears> what you do, man. I mean, as far as like, like I say, people that we know today, you mm -hmm. know, uh, Master P and them, they came through Baton Rouge and they made a lot of noise. They made a lot of money and they was on the radio a whole lot, man. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, did you have any connection or any, uh, you know, dealings with the No Limit uh, soldiers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So did you have to uh, break any of their records uh, uh, or, or were they already, you know, like good enough to just come out and just put on the station? It's a lot of records that I broke for. Them. Uh -huh. uh, but when it when they came through at the time that they came through, uh -huh. uh, it was an era in Baton Rouge, man, where uh, we had a, we had a logo artist, CeeLo. OK. All right. I remember them. CeeLo. Young Bleed, Shout Max out Manetta. to CeeLo, yeah. Young Bleed. And those guys, man, uh, the, they were the hottest thing here at the time. Mm -hmm. But even before them, uh, K.E. and the Dark Side. Okay, yeah. Uh, Kevin and, and them guys and Color Wheel and, mm -hmm. and uh, LeBeau uh, and them guys, man, uh, they were making records when I was coming through. And when Master P showed up, man, it was a whole nother level for him because mm -hmm. Baton Rouge showed him so much love. Yeah. You know, and, and, and that's what made my city, made me proud of my city because mm -hmm. they showed him so much love mm -hmm. that he, he himself say, I got to live here. But can't move to Baton Rouge. Hey, I got to live here. Yeah. So his music was just doing just that great in, in, in the Baton Rouge city. Yeah. That he actually wanted to move here. Man, and, I, and mind you, watch this. Hip hop was being done on an AM signal radio station. It wasn't not FM, AM. When No Limit came out? Yes, sir. AM signal. AM radio station. Wow. Everybody in all the cities around mm -hmm. New Orleans, Lafayette, had FM signals. Mm -hmm. We were AM signal. But we were making more noise than a bigger city with a right. better signal. Wow. Right. Yeah. Yeah. True. I, I remember, well, that's when it was. Or should um, I say facts? Facts, not fiction, baby. Right. So at the end of the day, what records did you have to deal to do with breaking as far as um, that actually came uh, to no be limit. hit records for No Limit? Uh, Bout it, bout it, and uh, Bout it, bout it. Yeah, and the ice cream man. You played Bout it, bout it the first time. Yeah, man. You the yeah. first DJ to put Bout it, bout it on the radio. I'm not gonna say that, but we were a radio station. Okay. That gave it a lot of popularity. Okay. And a lot of legs. Okay. To to go on to be a big hit. But yeah. yeah bout it, bout it, because when I was on the radio station, like I was telling you about, mm -hmm. uh. Ken James, Iceman, okay. mm -hmm. whenever he had uh, local people to call in and rap on uh, the radio, he called his the booty line. Uh -huh. I did the same thing. I called mine the body body line. Body body line. Yes. So you named, you named your segment after the song? The, the song, yes, sir. It had that segment off the chain. Off the chain. Um, bro. 
Shout out to Master P, man. Shout out to Jewel the Juice, man, I'll for me, breaking please. that jerk. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So you and the Ice Cream Man. Ice Cream Man, yeah. Straight up. Yeah. In, in fact, uh, when he came out with the Ice Cream Man, uh, he let me be the first one to get the Ice Cream Man tour. I did the first show over at uh, Visor Visions over at Brule, Louisiana. On the first uh, show of the Ice Cream Man yeah, tour. Yeah, the, the first the first uh, show he did. Yeah. That was Advisor Vision. Advisor Vision. Cross the river. In in, in Brule, Louisiana. Word up. Shout out to Angela Tubbs. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Angela. Hey, hey Miss Angela, how you doing? Yeah. That's my girl, man. She mm-hmm. used to um we used to she used to be the person that I used to deal with when I used to um advertise. Yeah, yeah, detailing yeah. calls over for on uh, the station. Yes, sir. But um, yeah, man. Um, so at the end of the day, Pnum actually, you had like a this type of uh, some type of relationship. What it was like to work with P? Well, uh, me and P in his early days. Yeah, P and I we we met through uh, Travesta Scott, right? Uh, rest in peace, T. Rest in uh, peace, Travesta. Uh, he he. He and I had a uh, a relationship to where he used to do uh, promotions for different record companies and different artists. Mm-hmm. So he would always come to me because he he went to uh, Southern University. Yeah. So he would always come to me uh, and talk to me about uh, playing uh, different different uh, artists' music. Uh-huh. And uh, Master P was one of them. Okay. Uh, so when he when he came to me about Master P. Uh, and he let me hear it. it was the 99 ways to die. Okay. And uh, I jumped on and I told him, I said, yeah, man, I'll take care. Uh-huh. You know, uh, and from that point on, man, hey, No Limit in, in, in Baton Rouge was born. Straight up. Facts. So facts, not fiction. So from that on, uh, he linked you and P up. And yeah. So what it was like to work with P? He was good, man. He uh, he was a focused young man. Okay. You know? Yeah. Uh, he he knew uh, his his goal was where he wanted to go with everything, mm-hmm. and he executed his plan. Mm-hmm. You know, and I I'm glad to say that I was a part of it. Uh, I I ended up getting my plaque from the uh, Ice Cream Man. Uh, okay. Uh, record. Word up, you got a plaque? Yeah. A, a go- platinum plaque? No, gold. A gold plaque? Yeah, it went to go- yeah, it went gold, and I had got that. Uh, I'm sure. It, Platinum times over now. Right, 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 right. At that time, you it was know, gold. Yeah. It and what gold. song that was? No, the whole album. Oh, for the, the album. The whole okay. album. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got yours as soon as it came out. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, cause that bad baby went platinum quick, yes, huh? And he actually mm-hmm. brought it to me personally. Wow, P gave you your plaque. Facts. Facts, not fiction. Facts, not fiction. That's the name of the show, man. We ain't coming with no cap. You know what I mean? Say, look, hey, so. Master P, you done work with him. We in Baton Rouge, yeah. right next to New Orleans. Master P from New Orleans. Mm-hmm. So, have you had any kind of affiliation or any kind of connections or dealings with the Cash Money Crew? Oh, facts. Facts? Oh, yeah. Not fiction. Hey, facts. You done helped them boys in the beginning, too? Yeah. What's up, baby? Yeah. Shout out to Cash Money. Yeah, and and, and uh, Slim, straight up. Slim, straight up. Yeah, yeah. Say, bro. So at the end of the day, you used to do like they used to uh, have to bring you records too, or anything yeah, like that. Man. Baby and I, man, we were so close, man. Baby used to come to my house. Word up. Yeah, sit on my couch. Straight up. Oh, facts. But I'm talking about this was before he blowed up with the cash money or well, what, era, what, what, what era was this? They were already high. I mean, from uh, PMW, you know, Pim Daddy. Oh, Pim Daddy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Miss T. What's up, Miss T? Okay. Uh, UNLV. Okay. Tech Nine and, and the rest of them. So he had all them going on and, oh, and, yeah. and he was coming to your house chilling. Yeah. So Baby was kind of shit. He was kind of famous and, then. Man, me and Baby would... Uh, I, I was with Baby when Baby was the two watch wearing guy. Word. The stunner. Yeah. The real stunner. Mm-hmm. Now, Club Dreams on Data Drive, I know you familiar with. Yeah. Man. When Club Dreams used to be popping, mm-hmm. everybody used to be riding around there, blocking around the yeah. club. Yeah. Me and Baby be standing right there in the parking lot. That's before 
At the radio Every, station. Yeah, everybody would be able to mm-hmm. look at him and really recognize him. Yeah, yeah he used to always come down. Yeah, that's my boy, man. Straight up. What up, baby? How let me? Yeah. So you to help them break records and stuff like oh, that? Oh yeah, also? man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, records yeah, you to yeah, help yeah. break for the uh, for for baby and can no limit? I mean, cash money. My bad. Bad ass yellow boy. Bad, bad, bad. ass. Yeah, that 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 was the hottest one. Now, yeah, the BG records. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Baby used to come directly to me because uh-huh. remember at that time I was the only one in Baton Rouge. Uh huh. Play hip hop. Straight up. Oh yeah. Facts. Not fiction. Facts. That's not you. The only, you was the only DJ on the radio to play, play hip hop Bat- music in Baton Rouge. And what year that was? Uh, from '93 at that at this time, from '93 to '98, till I went to uh, Lafayette Q95.5. Yeah, I was the only hip hop DJ in Baton Rouge on the radio. And that was on Max 94.1. Yeah. First, it was on WXOK, which was an AM station. Okay. 94.1 gave birth mm-hmm. in 97, January 1st, 1997. Right, I remember that. Yeah, and I was And, I and was you was a part of that. I, yeah, I was the one that started that. So you played the first hip-hop record on 94.1? On 94.1. And that, that record was, uh, uh, I can still see it to this day, was Keith Murray, Get Lifted. Straight up. Yeah. So the first record that was played on 941 12 Midnight, January 1st, 1997. Was Keith, Keith Murray. Murray, Get Lifted. Straight up. Yes, sir. Shout out to Keith Murray, man. Out of New York. Yes, sir. For sure. I man. be seeing Keith Murray doing little um, podcasts and interviews these days. Right. And and, and uh, the first local mm-hmm. rap record was Young Bleed, How You uh, Act a Fool. Straight up. Yeah. The first rec, rap local. Rec, local rap record to be played on 941 was Young, Young Bleed. Bleed. Act the fool. Shout out to Young Bleed. Yeah. That's history, man. Yeah. yeah. That's facts. Yeah. And shout out to Leadra Post, too. Leadra Post. It was just two, three of us uh-huh. that started the radio station. Uh, Guy Brody, Leadra Post, which we call Tina Kelly, uh-huh. and uh, myself. Straight up. Yeah, before anybody. So tell me this here. Mm-hmm. Back to baby mm-hmm. and cash money. Mm-hmm. You said it was like uh, some UNLV records that you helped yeah, that, that, jump off? Yeah, man, the whole, uh, that whole cash money era, man, from uh, 92 uh-huh. to the time the hot boys came in. Yes, sir. So you was around when they hit the big deals and all that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you something, man. Baby came to me and told me his whole plan as far as getting them hot boys. Uh-huh. You know, he, he, he asked me what I thought about it. I told him, yeah, uh-huh. sound like a good idea. Same way with uh, when he came to me and asked me my opinion of him getting with Manny Fresh to see if that was a good move to get Manny Fresh to uh, be a producer for Cash Money. I told him, yeah, because at the time, you know, I'm, 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 I'm liking Manny Fresh. Mm. Cause I'm liking my dude Gregory D. Right. You know Gregory D was a rapper that Manny Fresh was with. Right. You know with the bug jump, bug jump time yeah, and all that. Yeah. And the Freddie song. Yeah. So you mean to tell me you was dealing with Baby before he was dealing even really dealing with Fresh on that on that oh yeah level like that. Yeah. Yeah. I used to live on. Uh, and he asked you. Your opinion My on opinion. Yeah, that, that, getting that. fresh to be the producer for yeah, Cash Yeah, what Money. I thought about it. Yeah. Facts. Facts, man. Yeah. Not fiction, man. Man, he, let me tell you something, man. Baby used to come to my house, man. Mm-hmm. Eight, let's, let's just say eight in the morning. Right. Sit there with me all day. At the time, you know, I was in the video game. You know, we talking about early night. We talking mm-hmm. like nine two, nine three. Mm-hmm. And stay with me all day. Would leave me. Uh-huh. At about four uh-huh. p.m., I had to be on the radio from eight to twelve. Yeah. So he'll go back to New Orleans mm-hmm. from Baton Rouge. Mm-hmm. I go to work between eight and twelve. By that time, he done went and picked up Slim. Yeah. And they'd make it back to Baton Rouge at the radio station, knocking on the window. I'm looking at Slim. Y'all come on in. 
They used to come sit with me at the radio station. Trying to get them records broke. Well, it ain't about... I ain't gonna say try to get the records broke. Yeah. It was just the camaraderie we had as yeah. brothers. Yeah. As yeah. Oh, so y'all was just jam tight. Yeah, we were jam Y'all had to build oh, a yeah. relationship. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about this before the hot boys put together and before. Oh, yeah. Man and Fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Not fiction. Yeah, man. yeah. I'm not gonna tell you no lie. Yeah, I believe yeah. you. I wouldn't even have yeah. you on, my, on 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 the platform with no lies. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. We, yeah. we on this yeah. on some real. I know you. Yeah. I know you a real legend with a lot of, you know, a lot of, of people that's of, of out stories yeah. and you know, yeah, mm-hmm. stuff that you could talk about, man. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, man. So at the end of the day, what does it what does it feel like? to uh, actually see those guys to the, you know, especially like Baby and P, what does it feel like to to, to actually uh, be the, um, dealt with them at the beginning of their careers to see what they didn't plateau to these Man, days? It, 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 it makes me proud. Mm-hmm. It makes me proud, but at, 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 at certain times, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I kind of, look at it with a side eye, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Because at the same time, these guys know. Uh-huh. They know. Yeah. I'm going to just leave it at that. They know. Like, what, what uh, like, uh, P know? P and, and, and Baby? And Baby. They know. They, hey, man. They, they know, know you the one. They know I helped them. Yeah. A whole lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They know I help mm-hmm. them a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you ever you ever talk to them these days or have any? Last, kind of last time I seen Baby you Man, want? we were we were in the House of Blues and mm-hmm. I was coming down the stairs. He was coming up the stairs. Uh-huh. I don't know even what's up, Juice. And, yeah. Uh, went to exchange numbers and he mm-hmm. told me to give my number to one of his, one of the guys, but. You know, mm-hmm. we were doing our own thing. I kept on walking and, yeah. you know, we yeah. never, yeah, but yeah. yeah. seen him since. Yeah, but Slim, Slim, yeah. Yeah. Hey, for sure. Them your people. Slim, mm-hmm. Baby, mm-hmm. and P. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That you the man, they come through, they, they had to come through the, uh, through when they get through Baton Rouge. Man. They had to come see you. Facts. Not fiction. Facts. Say, I'm going to tell you like this here. Facts. To be a part of history like that is humongous, bro. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, if you just dealt, if you dealt with those guys right there, in you know, in the in the history of 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 of, of you know the the bad news hip hop, yeah. if you dealt with them, man, I know you done dealt with some some more names that we know. You know what I'm saying? That actually had to come from other places to come to Baton Rouge to actually get, you know to the next level. You you got any people like that you can deal with? Man, Scott, let me tell you, Scott, boy. I was the type where I was I was out of the street. Uh-huh. And I never was one that seemed like a dick ride. You yeah, feel me? Right. So <clears throat> I dealt I dealt with folks, but my thing with everybody was helping people. Right. You know, uh, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but yeah. the likes of a Young Bleed, yeah. uh, the likes of a Sea Loke, yeah. the likes of a uh, Cupid, yeah. the likes of a uh, Entourage, that's uh, the Bunny Hop guy. Okay. And the list go on and on and on, man. Uh-huh. You know, uh, I help all these guys. And can't nobody tell you mm-hmm. that I asked them for anything. I did. Yeah. I just be there for me when yeah. I need you. Yeah. You know, yeah. if I need you to come in and do a show yeah. uh, for a radio station event or whatever, just be there for me. Uh-huh. Josephine Johnny, yeah. another one. Yeah. You know, uh, that was one of the biggest artists, man, that uh, that really took off uh, to a point where it kind of surprised me just as well as the uh, Bunny Hop guys. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Say, so at the end of the day, a Josephine Johnny, mm-hmm. that was a that was a real smash hit? Oh yeah, man. Yeah. For sure, man. Uh I never forget I, I I was uh working in the Lafayette market and I ended up coming back to uh Baton Rouge. Mm-hmm. Uh and a good friend of mine, Malcolm Stewart, had uh called me and told me that uh he was working with a family that had a uh 
a record label that they're working with, they sign with, mm -hmm. out of Bayou Gula, Louisiana. Bayou um, Gula? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the um, country. Yeah. Sugar Cane Land. JD with the five beats. But, Straight uh, up. Jam type records. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told me that he wanted me to go over there and hear some some uh, material. Because mm -hmm. everybody knew I had the ear for hits and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, good music. Right. So I said, yeah, I'll go over there with you. Mm -hmm. So uh, Malcolm came and picked me up. Uh, we went over there and JD uh, played me a couple of things of some old artists that he had, uh, which was uh, Slim and Danger. Okay. Uh, I listened to it and I was like, okay, yeah, it's okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. it's jamming. Mm -hmm. So Malcolm was like, man, play the Josephine Johnny for him. Mm -hmm. So he put the Josephine Johnny on, and 15 seconds into the record, I was like, man, you can turn that off. Straight up so, facts. And just like that, a hit was made? Yeah, man, Josephine Johnny, man, Lord have mercy. Straight up. Rest in peace, Josephine Johnny, yeah, man. Rest in peace. It just made me feel good, you know, to be a part of uh, kind of promoting that record, man, getting that record out, you know, uh, Presenting it to everybody, knowing it was a hit, mm -hmm. and uh, to see, you know, like uh, professional football players bust the Josephine Johnny whenever they would make a, a touchdown, or, or looking at a Beyonce in one of her, you know, concert uh, shows, busting that Josephine Johnny. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. She dancing, doing the Josephine Johnny. Oh, yeah, Johnny. man. Josephine Johnny, man. That was a popular dance, though, man. Yeah, you know man. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was a big record, man. I used to be doing reason, that Josephine yeah. Johnny, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord have mercy. Even me, I was trying to do it, and I yeah, can't even dance. Yeah, it, yeah, be neat. yeah. That, was, that, was, that wasn't no hard one to do, though. You know what I'm saying? Then that, 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 he was doing that some G shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Say, mm -hmm. so at the end of the day, who else you to help in this city, man? Man, uh, MC Nero, MC. he was a, a hot uh, artist from this area, man, that uh, record did some big things. Who named Nero? Yeah, here at home and, and, and abroad. Uh, I also helped, uh, I was a big part in helping the Sea uh, Loke in the concentration camp, uh -huh. you know, uh, mm -hmm. get off, man, them, them guys, man, local talent and Sea Loke, the big... Loke dog. Yeah. Yeah. He, big uh, dog. He had a knack for finding good talent. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to C Loke. Yeah. So, you know, at one time, he was one of the biggest games in town as far as record companies and getting these cash man, young cash man, and getting them out there mm -hmm. and uh, making hits. Right. Right. You know, so, you know, from I'm Young Bleeds, Lay Low, Max Manelli. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those that don't know the real history, he was one of the first ones that uh, put Boosie out. Off the top, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he the one. That's why I, you know, that's why I ever heard Boosie rap it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the youngest of the camp. Yeah, yeah. In fact, when when Boosie hit the cap, I was actually uh, in the Lafayette area, and uh, I had mm -hmm. a good friend of mine from New Orleans, tell it, man, tell it the the, uh, the 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 bottle cop, the bottle top. Yeah. Guy with the balls and everything okay. doing okay. the trick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Brought it to me, and uh, he's like, man, I, I, hey, man. Got this little cat man in Baton Rouge, man. You ain't heard about him yet? I'm like, nah, man. Who is it? And uh, he said, Boosie. And he let me hear it. Uh huh. Yeah, and that was, uh, I think that first one was uh, Outlaws, the one, the first one oh, I heard. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I kind of fell in love with it, man. And uh -huh. I was living in Lafayette at the time. Mm -hmm. And I think about a year or two after that, that's when I came back to Baton Rouge. So we kind of met and, and, and started. Uh, Dealing with each other then. Okay. Okay. That point, yeah. But he was already on fire, man. But Lope, man, Lope been around a minute, man. Lope been putting them hits out, mm -hmm. you know, getting them cats like a Young Bleed. You seen what Young Bleed did. Yeah. You know, and uh, me and Young Bleed, we go way back. Mm -hmm. You know, I used, to, I used to sleep at Young Bleed's house. Okay. You know, and Mama loved me, love her too, you know. That's right. And uh, at, at the same time, uh, I, I was trying to rap, and I told him, I said, well, man, I'm going to go ahead and go to. Uh, radio school mm -hmm. so I said well if I go to radio school I could be able to uh, get a chance if we make records I, I could be able to play them on the radio mm -hmm. so uh, I told him I said well look I'm gonna go to radio school you keep doing your thing mm -hmm. so if you make 
make it before me, mm -hmm. and I'm on the radio, I promise you, I'm gonna I'm I'm get you out there and get you hot. Straight up. So I had a chance to uh, follow and you, through. And you was a man of your word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he knew that. Off the top. Yeah, he knew that. So I used to get him, man. When I first got into radio, I used to work at a radio station in Port Allen. Mm -hmm. It was a sports talk radio station. So I used to, you know, go over there and uh, run the board for, like, uh, different baseball games and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I would bring him over there, and we will use that equipment over there and make mm -hmm. demos and mm -hmm. stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. I, uh, we had we had some other people we were rapping with, man. But, yeah, I, I was happy to see him with Loke and doing his thing. Mm -hmm. But before he got with Loke, mm -hmm. uh, a guy by the name of Todd Sterling had him, man. Okay. And uh, he was calling Tar himself. Sterling. Yeah, Todd Sterling. Yeah. Big I shout out to uh, he. He had him, uh, Young Bleed, called himself Total Darkness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I know Sterling. I'm the yeah. lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, no, no, not, not the lawyer. The bro that's the brother. No. Uh -uh. Steven is the uh, lawyer. Mm -mm. Oh, is Steven okay. Sterling okay. and, and okay. the brother Todd. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, all right, that's a blessing. Shout man. out to them Sterling brothers. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, and I, I, I got a show. I put a show together mm -hmm. down in Hammond, man, at the Heritage Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had uh, MC Nero, mm -hmm. uh, Young Bleed, mm -hmm. and uh, Silky Slim and Joker P. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And I took the I took the boys down there, man, in the limo, man. Straight up. Oh man, they they rocked it, man. And and uh another cat too, man. That's my family too, man. Mm -hmm. A. K. Ray. A. K. Ray. Yeah, A. K. Ray was from Baton Rouge, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And what he was a DJ, a rapper. He was a rapper. Oh, okay, yeah. a rapper. Yeah, yeah. Put A. K. Your hands Ray. Up. Okay. Yeah, put your hands up, man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, A. K. Ray. Yeah. Uh, what year that was like? Uh, th this was. 91. 91? Yeah. Okay. 91. AK Ray, man. Mm hmm. Yeah, he did big things. Okay. Well, yeah. So, what kind of music he made? Like, rap. Like, yeah, yeah, gangster. Like gangster rap? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, you can, you can pull him up on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. AK Ray. I'm high too, uh -huh. bro. Yeah. Hey, so, I'm talking about, so you you say you, you, you be running about um, Lafayette mm -hmm. a good bit. So, when you went down there to Lafayette, <clears throat> What the what, what 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 the vibe was like down there? What you well, was kind of? I, I took that same mentality down there, you know. Okay. I'm, I'm all about helping people. Okay. I know good music. I got a knack for uh, finding and knowing good music. Uh -huh. And uh, I met a couple of cats down there when I first got down there. I ran to a little cat, a little cat, Lil Run, mm -hmm. and uh, Lil Run was a homie uh, artist man trying to get get out there and get heard. And, mm -hmm. and uh, we would have a, a talent show for the radio station. So we had it at uh, at the college down there, USL, okay. which is now ULL. Okay. Uh, and we had we had a talent show going on, and we had a little time mm -hmm. in between acts, and uh, they had this guy kept uh, trying to get my attention. Mm -hmm. So I find he finally got my attention. I went in and entertained what he was talking about, and he was like, "Hey man, uh, can you give me a little chance to get on the stage, man?" And, and do a little something, and I, I was like, kept blowing them out, kept blowing them out. Mm -hmm. So finally, I said, yeah, man, I'm, I'm gonna let you get on up here, man. Yeah. So he got up there, man, he set a sheet up with a light, and he had his silhouette showing, and he was doing a rendition of some uh, R. Kelly music, mm -hmm. man, mm -hmm. and the crowd was going crazy. So I, he caught my attention, I stopped what I was doing to kind of pay attention to him. Mm -hmm. I said, man, this guy got some uh, stage presence. Yeah. And lo and behold, man, from that day, it was Cupid. Wow. The Lion Dance King. Yeah. It was Cupid. And from that day, a star was born. Straight up. Oh, yeah. He'll tell you yourself. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. He'll tell you yourself, man. Man, you, you mm. done been around some a whole lot of people, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like even, then, even that Bunny Hop. Yeah. Yeah, the Bunny Hop uh, out of uh, Lafayette. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bu uh, Bunny and them guys, man. Uh, oh, that's where they from? Uh, uh, Lafayette. From, from Lafayette? Yeah, yeah, Bunny was from the Zip, so... Yeah. Uh, that Red Boy Records. Mm -hmm. He was like the baby out last. So year. you brought that, like the Bunny Hop. You brought that to oh, Baton yeah. Rouge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll never forget uh, one night at a uh, a popular club in Lafayette called Poets, and it was on Thursday nights. And uh, he 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 came met me at the club. He said, "Man, I got this hit, man, that we're working on." Mm -hmm. He said, "But I want you to tell me if it's a hit or not." Yeah. So uh, me and uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, Brian Aguilar, my little cousin, uh, Nathaniel, mm -hmm. aka Pookie. Mm -hmm. uh, we was all together, man, and he gave me the the, the burnt CD, and uh, they got in the back of the 
back of the car, mm -hmm. fell asleep while I drove back to Baton Rouge. So when I popped it in the CD player, mm -hmm. I played that one song. It was just one song on, on, on the CD. Mm -hmm. I played it all the way back to Baton Rouge. That's like an hour, yeah. a little over an hour. Mm -hmm. And by the time I made it to Baton Rouge, I had determined, yeah, it's a hit. And that's the bunny hop. The bunny hop. So every time I like was hearing that song, that was because of me. That was because of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That pa 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 pa. Yeah, I was the first one to play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Down right there. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, the, the the artist name was Bunny. Okay. So that's why he called it the Bunny Hop. Yeah. Yeah. That dude had like a Texas uh flow. Oh, Bunny. Pretty well, much well, that well, song. That, well, it looked, seemed like a Texas yeah, flow. Yeah, a, 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 a little Houston. Okay. You know they were up on that uh, Houston music until I got over there. Okay. I'm the one presenting more of the uh, the No Limits and the uh, Sea Lokes and the, and the New Orleans. Okay. Because they they wouldn't even touch this music back in the day. Okay. You know because I'm I'm sure you remember about the Crawfish Fest, huh? Yeah. So every year when you would go down there, you would see mm -hmm. Texas style. Yeah. Uh, where they're living, where, whether it was cars uh, fixed up, uh -huh. the, the way they were dressing, the way they were talking, mm -hmm. and the music that they were listening to mm -hmm. until I got to Lafayette. And you switched the game? Switched the game. At the Crawfish Fest? At the, well, no, no, when I was on like, the radio down there. Yeah. Yeah, from from what, what you would see at the Crawfish Fest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's why you that's why you could hear now a Boosie in the Lafayette area back then. You 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 probably would never heard them of DJs that. wasn't no they they were on they, they were not gravitating from this no, way the, no they were they was gravitating from Houston yeah going from Texas going toward Texas that's why you see UGK was uh -huh. big in that area yeah, yeah. okay the ghetto so, boys and all them cats yeah so what about what about uh. What about people like UGK? Cause you know they back in the days when you was doing your thing in the radio. So. Well, a actually, man, uh, they DJ worked with me. Straight up. Yeah, Dolby D. Okay. Dolby Devious. Yeah. So you know he used to do uh, six o'clock mix on the radio every day. And, in the, in the, uh, or like down there in Lafayette. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dolby Devious, man. Okay. Yeah. And uh, to me, nah, -huh. he wanted the coldest they ever do it. DJs. Yes, sir. And what his name is? Dolby D. Shout out to Dolby D. Dolby D. And that was that was uh, UGK new, uh, DJ. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, Bum B and uh, Pimp C stayed and uh, coming to laugh yet. And in fact, they they would do some recording down there from time to time. Uh, word up. Yeah, man. So you didn't had a chance to uh, you know work with any of their uh, smash hits? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know we had first dibs on it. Remember we got the DJ at the radio station. Right, right, you right, know? right, right. So UGK. So you know we yeah. were hearing things first. Yeah. I mean before it even. So which come one? Out. Which one of them bangers that you'd have heard that the world had heard too? You know that you'd have heard first. Let me see it. Let me see it. Yeah. 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 Okay. In fact, I was at the studio that night they made. It. So they made Let Me See It in the. Um, mm -hmm. In uh, in Lafayette. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up, yeah. man. It's history, man. man These look, facts, it's, it's, it's not for real. fiction. For real. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And it's the facts, not fiction podcast, man. We yes, ain't over here playing. Yes, sir. It's me and the King <laughs> Jewel, the Juice Man Jackson. Man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we ain't gonna play no games <laughs> with them. We're going to keep that. these things coming to you. You know what I'm saying? We're just doing a little introduction right now. You yes. know what I'm saying? Let y'all know that this is all facts. Yes, sir. Not fiction. That's man. right. You know? That's right. But yeah, man, this that, that shit is history, though, bro. Yeah, bruh. man. One, For real, one, one, though, bro. Man, and you know, when I look back at it, man, it, yeah. It really, yeah, it really it really makes me uh, say, wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you, was, you, you ever, like, you were, like, Dealt with a uh, bun and shit like that. You yeah, yeah, man. We we used to talk. Yeah. What that nigga pimp was like, man, back then. Real. That nigga was real then. Real nigga, funny. Yeah. Real nigga, funny. Yeah. You know, so uh, he had heard about uh, some some old stories about me back in my day when I used to fight. Mm -hmm. So you know, when I first met him, he was sitting in his uh, Mercedes outside mm -hmm. the radio station mm -hmm. on Ambassador Caffrey, where the radio station was. It was right next door to a Hooters and a bowling alley. So mm -hmm. any back door in the radio station, I would go out. I'd either be in Hooters on one side yeah. or, or the bowling alley on the other side. Mm -hmm. So when I walked outside, I was getting ready to leave because I had a club on uh, on Simcoe Strip. Shout out to Don Bro. Uh -huh. uh, we called it Copa 2 with my, with my big dog, uh, Kevin Fatno. Okay. You and, say a club? Yeah. We had, a nightclub? Yeah. Okay. On the corner of Simcoe and Louisiana. Okay. So, uh, you know what the name of that club was? Copa 2. 
Copa 2? Copa 2. Okay. So, uh... And what year that was, Juice? Man, this was, uh, 98 to 2001. Because, you know, they got some people on here that, that, yeah. that, that know about, uh, yeah, yeah, 98, 2000, out, man. you yeah, know. Big shout out to all Copa Lafayette, two. man. ST. Yeah, yeah, all For of them. For sure. Shout out to Lafayette, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I did big things down there, man. I, yeah. I, yeah, I helped a couple of, uh, Couple of artists down there, man, that was doing their thing, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, as far as okay, you know, we, what about like other artists from the NO? Oh. You got anybody else from the NO that you done dealt with that ain't tied to No Limit or Cash Money that we all know? Oh yeah, man. Uh, Trey. Trey Eight. You remember Trey? I used to like that dude, man. That yeah, dude was man. so. Gangster yeah, man, yeah, did y'all used to play Trey Eight on the radio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, uh, he had one of the biggest hits on that Down South Hustle. All right, yeah. yeah. See, that's when that's around the time when Master P was real hot and he was down here. Okay. So uh, I ended up uh, hooking up uh, Money Mike. Okay. Two loaded record. What's up, Money? Yeah. Uh, that's that my dog. Okay. That's my dog to to the end of time, man. Straight so, up. So uh, that was one of his artists. Okay. And. Uh, we be, we became. I'm a real fan of trade, friends. man. Yeah, yeah trade. I used to ride around listening to that trade, man. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, trade, for real though. Yeah, trade too low to record with Money Mike, man. Okay. So yeah, Money Mike actually still doing it, and uh, he had another little uh, artist, man, Lil Jinx. Okay. You know, uh, he, he made a song called Keisha. Okay. My Street Sweeper. Okay. You know, and that, that was hot down. That's when I was in the Lafayette area. Mm -hmm. That was uh, a hot record, man. Uh, for two loaded record, Lil Jinx. Okay. Yeah. And, that, and he was down in Lafayette? Yeah, well, no, he was hot. Okay. The, the, the record was, uh, that's when I was in Lafayette. The record was hot in Lafayette. Yeah, he from the city. Yeah. Okay. He from the city, Lil Jinx. And mm -hmm. then uh, he had another little cat, Toes. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, and had, had, a, had a chance, man, uh, crazy. That ended up with uh, the no limit, the no limit click. Right. Yeah. Everybody used to call him two, the 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 the, the new uh, uh two new pop. artist two pop. Yeah, because the way the way he rap. Yeah. Yeah. When I first Shout got my chop. Shout out to crazy. When I first got my chopper. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't yeah. use yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And that uh the, the owner of that record company was a guy by the name of Roderick Smith. Okay. Rest in peace. You know he used to always uh, come down here, man, and we used to hang out together. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Roger Smell, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Crazy, man. So that's why me and Crazy, every time Crazy see me, me and Crazy, you know, we got good relationship, you know. Straight up. for one another, yeah, yeah. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Mm -hmm. I know, I know for sure, you got a lot of artists, a lot of stories, mm -hmm. and a lot of history, you know what I'm saying, yeah. in this industry, you know. And I know we ain't gonna be able to cram it into one interview right right you know what i'm right, saying right so we're gonna keep these things coming you know what i'm yes, saying sir. yes sir, man. so at hey. the end of the day bro you know we got a lot to talk about man, i got three decades of it three decades man yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah. I, look i got a lot <laughs> i got a lot of questions yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. say bro because yeah. at the end of the day bro these some you know some real real uh you know history like i say right. bro that facts. people need to know facts Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And because it's like, shit, everybody got a beginning. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. And yes. they had to go through somebody. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And then right. they'll actually be, you know, a person to see you in the stove, walk right in the gas station. You know what I'm saying? And they'll and never know, know huh? who the hell you are, not yeah. knowing you legendary as hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, you but know, yeah, not, yeah. I ain't going to say hell. You yeah. legendary. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's just like we need to, like, put a face to people these days because back in the days, they ain't have no no kind of way that you could really have your face, you know, on, you know, in front of people's face. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You, you could probably, I know you've been on TV and shit before, but, you know, ain't nothing like being, you know, in their face and giving them them good uh, episodes of history. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Not fiction, right. you know what I'm saying? Because right. all we speaking is the truth, that's you know. Right. That's right. That's and right. uh, and if it and look, look, you already know. If I'm speaking it, it's facts. All the way, bro. It's facts, and and, and it, ain't nobody gonna dispute it because everybody know it's one hundred. Hey, so just let the people know that uh, it's up from now on, bro. You know what I'm saying? And we are gonna be doing these jerks. You know what I'm saying? And they can stay tuned for you know some more. Yeah. Scott boy. And the king himself, 
Jewel the Juice Man Jackson, you know what I'm saying? On the facts and not fiction. That's right. Podcast. That's right. That's right. Yeah.